After 12 years of meritorious, productive service in Parliament, uh, you can give others a chance. I can, you know, help guide them with a wealth of knowledge and experience. And, you know, uh, you can play role, a role in several areas. And then I intend to also mentor a lot of young girls. For me, I don't believe that um, even if you do another four years, 16 years, you'll leave anyway. But no man is an island of knowledge. And it's a young institution which should be allowed to grow and others given the opportunity. It was a tough decision, but one that I'm proud I was able to have the courage. Or would there be a comeback eventually? Who knows? Who knows? I'm in politics, I'm in politics. You never can tell. But at this point in time... But if it will come back, it will be as what? Are you? I'm not God now. I know. Who knows? Maybe as president. <laughs> But in the last 12 years that you've been there, what, 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 I mean, at what point was the highest for you that you would say, oh, this oh, is... Oh, the is fact that I have bills, passing up the Freedom of Information Bill is now a law in Nigeria, the Aspera Commission Bill, um, Violence Against Persons Bill, a bill to stop discrimination against persons with disability, and then basically speaking out for the oppressed, for the weak, for the youth, for the women, you know, and then knowing that you touch people's lives. I mean, you, I, I meet people that would, just, uh, that would just say, well, you did ABCD for me. Knowing that you made a difference in somebody's life, it for me is enough fulfillment and satisfaction. And that reminds me, because of that bill that uh, protects young people and uh, women, I remember that there was a particular case of, uh, you know, mother of uh, the children of Nigerians in Dubai. And that uh, you were part of some people, persons that were called advocating for redress and... Uh, the executive government, the, the federal government does not want to do anything about Nigerians being maltreated. You know, there's no reason why the president could not call his counterpart in Dubai and demand for justice for somebody like Toba Faludes. You know who killed the person. You know, it's a matter of charging the guy to court, but as long as the federal government does not take that seriously, Nigerians will continue to be maltreated in other parts of the world. I mean, we have the highest number of cases that in several parts of the world, and those we have intervened, we have succeeded, but there's a limit to which we can go. There has to be a deliberate policy to intervene in cases of Nigerians maltreated abroad. Yes, some committed some crime and they should be punished, but there are many who are guilty just because they are Nigerians. Mm. But finally, man, the last question I'm going to ask is, uh, now that the federal government is really not willing to do anything in terms of policy uh, implementation or decision to help these people out, what would you advise for them in the interim so that at least they will... Just still... let us have good leadership in Nigeria. Change. Change uh, for better. We need to change in this. It's not only that aspect of it. You see Nigerian youths um, wasting away in other countries. They don't need to be there. They don't want to be there, but they are looking for hope and hopelessness. So we need to change leadership in Nigeria. That is my message to Nigerians. Go out there, let your vote be your power. This is not where we should be as a nation.